maybe there is a civilization that is happening in the world today maybe there is a new set of a generation that is being born today in the world yes maybe and you know uh, the foundation of civilization is money money is a language that uh, is universally understood you might not be uh, good in english or spanish or french or portuguese rather portugal uh, but uh, money being a language of a measure of value it is widely understood and uh, civilizations have come up uh, and uh, have also crumbled because of one of the uh, among other reasons is the strength of their currency a strong currency uh, makes about a strong kingdom and a weak currency makes a weak kingdom for example we have the roman empire uh, the roman empire during the reign of julius caesar was very powerful uh, they had a strong currency for international settlements uh, which was eight grams of gold, a, a coin that weighed eight grams of pure gold. And also they had a currency that were used uh, for their uh, domestic transactions, which was 100% uh, silver by then. And now governments have a, a tendency to... Uh, expand their territories because uh, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely so uh, the roman empire uh, wanted to have uh, to, or rather to widen their control and so to do that they must engage in wars they must uh, participate in wars and they must lure people into wars. Uh, they must have a strong military. And uh, taking people out of their routines uh, to engage in wars, to expand y your reign because of the greatness of the government, needs to feed them. You need to hire uh, arms. You need to, have to buy arms for the, uh, for, for, for to, to fight the wars. And this calls for a uh, debasing of the currency. Uh, so they began debasing their currency. The coin that weighed eight grams, uh, grams of gold was debased to about four, and then it was actually uh, blended with other uh, metals. The domestic currency, silver, which was 100% pure silver, was debased and blended with other uh, metals and then uh, what happened when you have to uh, debase your currency you lose because you want to spend more uh, inflation comes in the prices of uh, everything actually and more especially uh, utilities the prices of uh, food basic requirements actually skyrockets and in the long run uh, the barbarians uh, overtook the, uh, the Roman Empire. They had a strong currency, like the silver coin was the denarius. The denarius, maybe it was what the biblical din denaria, the, the widow had uh, in the biblical times of Jesus. So they, when they debased their currency, uh, inflation was high, prices was high, life became unbearable. They lost the barbarians, and that's how the Roman Empire collapsed. That's one of the reasons why the Roman Empire collapsed. And basically, it, uh, it's finance. It's because of the currency, a strong currency, uh, a strong kingdom. A weak currency, a weak kingdom. Let's go to the Weimar Republic, Germany. 
uh, Germany lost the World War One, and uh, when they lost, uh, they also defaulted in their loans because they had borrowed heavily to finance the war. They had borrowed so much from the uh, from the uh, the Belgium. They had borrowed from the French, and. Uh, they defaulted because now they have lost the war. They need to feed their people. They have so much uh, to spend in the, for their military. And uh, the French and the Germany, I mean the French and the Belgium, opted uh, to invade Germany for a payback. So they invaded their industries because they really wanted, because w when a country is uh, engaged in a war and has lost and has so much debt. The, 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 the creditors must come in and uh, they want items of value. And by then, the only item of value uh, Germany held were their industries. And so Germany, the government of Germany, instructed the employees not to uh, participate, not to go to work, and not to uh, obey the French and not to obey the Belgium. And um, what did the German government do? They started printing more money, debasing their currency, devaluing their currency, printing a lot of money actually uh, it results in a inflation when there's so much money in circulation there is a very high rate of increase in inflation because money is a silent language that speaks to a whole lot of people so uh, the government of germany was here paying their uh, people not to go to work to help the french and the belgium and when you pay people not to work uh, actually what happens to the economy? The economy is retarded, retarded. The economy does not grow. And this is what happened in Germany by then. People were paid and inflation began to increase at a very alarming rate. At one point, the price of bread, which was 13 cents of the currency by then, increased to 100 billion because of the printing of money. Money was printed heavily and uh, inflation rate was high and uh, their currency became very useless it would not support anything imagine 100 billion going to buy just a loaf of bread no it became very unbearable and currently in the world today uh, we are seeing the same thing because history repeats itself if not, if it does not repeat, it re uh, occurs. Right now, for example, the U.S. being the global uh, universal currency, world reserve currency, uh, people are being paid to stay at home because there is uh, a very dangerous virus that they need to fight while staying at home. And when you're paying this, uh, people to work at home. What me does that mean? The government is printing money out of hot air. This results into an insidious tax because now inflation is high and when that insidious task, ta tax happens, people lose their properties. Money becomes useless. Money becomes useless because you cannot buy the things you need to buy to sustain your life. You cannot sustain your life, you cannot sustain your family, you cannot do whatever you want to do. And that results to uh, governments losing their um, power, their control, their uh, governments lose that honor that people have it to, to their government because they have failed to safeguard them in terms they really needed them. And uh, governments, why do governments really print money? Because governments cannot uh, actually reduce their budget. They have only two options, to increase their taxes and to print more money. And of course to default on their loans that they have. And every government 
right now is heavily indebted. In my country here in Kenya, as I see today, the price of uh, gas has increased so much. The price of uh, almost everything has gone up. Everything is skyrocketing and it will continue to skyrocket. Why? Because we are fighting an unseen enemy. And that unseen enemy, <laughs> that unseen enemy is actually uh, doing so much harm than good. And it's not all about the, the facial expression that we are being told to do. No, there is much more. The insidious enemy is attacking our livelihoods and uh, we need to do it something. We need a currency. Right now the world needs a currency that is not uh, debasable, a currency that is not printable, a currency that is not uh, under the control, direct control of the government. And that is what the, uh, the, the society needs at this moment in time. And uh, we believe with our kringles, this is what we need at this moment in time. Make sure you have your Kringles uh, at the best secure place you can because time is very near that the world will look for Kringles. And when that time comes, ensure you have uh, some good Kringles for you and your generation.